Hey, hey, what's up everybody? It's Rutech. Today, we'll be talking about a new huge announcement from NVIDIA. You already know about these graphics card prices. I don't need to go in depth telling you how bad the prices are, why they're like that, blah, blah, blah. Plus, I already have a video explaining that top right of your screen. But yeah, I don't want to waste any time. Let's talk about this big news. So NVIDIA announced a whole new line of GPUs, and I'm not talking about anything related to the 30 series or gaming. These GPUs are made for crypto mining exclusively. So I guess it's safe to say they're not graphics processing units, they're like mining processing units, and, and they are, they're called CMPs, which I'll get to. So first, let's take a look at their blog post addressing all of this. It's straight to the point, they wanna have their RTX 30 series cards in the hands of gamers. They understand that their 30 series GPUs are all powerful and capable of so many different things, but they wanna start ensuring that they end up more in the hands of gamers. So first of all, with their new 3060 GPUs, they're going to cut the mining rate for it in half. Yeah, they're not joking around. Here's what the blog post says word for word. RTX 3060 software drivers are designed to detect specific attributes of the Ethereum cryptocurrency mining algorithm and limit the hash rate or cryptocurrency mining efficiency by around 50%. And then they go on to explain why, because the cards were really designed for gaming, DLSS, ray tracing, stuff like that. That's one way of pushing away the miners, but of course that's not their only big announcement to get them away from the 30 series cards. They also, like I said, announced a whole new line of GPUs called the NVIDIA CMPs, which stands for Cryptocurrency Mining Processors. So they're optimized for mining, they're going to be priced reasonably for that purpose. They're going to directly, I guess you could say, compete with their 30 series cards. Hopefully they're seriously far more efficient to the point where 30 series cards just wouldn't even make sense anymore to be used for mining. That way the only people that would be buying the 3090s and 3080s would be the gamers. As for the front page for these CMPs, it pretty much says the same thing as the blog post, but a little more summarized and a few more details here and there. As I've said, they're designed for specifically mining. They have an airflow optimized bracket, which I imagine means they're getting rid of the display output ports and replacing it with probably a vent. And they're configured to allow for more GPUs to be controlled by a single CPU, meaning bigger mining rigs under a single system. Now these new GPUs prioritize efficiency for mining. And this is achieved by lowering the frequency and core voltage. I think this is a 100% safe and smart move by NVIDIA. I mean, think about it, most of their gaming cards are being snatched up by miners, and these graphics cards are designed for gaming. So now, with a new line of GPUs, or should I say CMPs, because they don't even produce graphics, but anyway, like I was saying, with this new line of CMPs that are actually quote-unquote designed for professional mining operations, it'll not only put a wall between gaming consumers and mining consumers, but it'll also make NVIDIA a whole lot more money. Now they're gonna have cash running in from both gamers and the miners consistently from two different avenues rather than having them clashing and literally competing to get their gaming GPUs. For making it this far through the video, I'd like to invite you to my February giveaway. In this giveaway, I'm giving out an Intel i5-10400F, an Asus Z490P motherboard, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3000 megahertz CL16 RAM from Oloy, and the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition CPU cooler. All of these parts were only used for benchmarking in my videos, so they're practically brand new. To enter, it's very simple. Like, subscribe, and then click the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Now with this giveaway, you can actually make multiple entries in order to raise your chance of winning. Let me show you. When you click on the giveaway link, you'll be led to this page. You'll see some simple rules and information, and then you'll see the different ways you can enter. Now, each one of these is valid for one entry. So if you do all four of them, you'll get four entries, and if you only do one, you get one entry. So obviously, the more of these you do, the higher the chance you have of winning. Once again, the link is in my description and in the pinned comment. Good luck, everyone. So like I was saying, now they're going to be producing chips for both gamers and miners separately. Now this won't be an immediate fix. The CMP 30HX and 40HX are the only ones available in quarter one of 2021, and they both have lower Ethereum hash rates 
compared to the lowest tier 30 series GPU available right now, the 3060 Ti. And a hash rate is a fundamental measurement that tells you how fast you can crypto mine. Quarter One's 30HX has a hash rate of 26 mega hashes a second, and the 40HX, which also comes out in quarter one, has a hash rate of 36 mega hashes a second. In comparison, the 3060 Ti has a hash rate of around 60 mega hashes a second. So these mining chips will only fix the 30 series prices if they A, are totally reasonably priced, B, don't become out of stock immediately and don't stay out of stock for months, and C, if Nvidia is able to keep up with the demand of miners, which pretty much goes hand in hand with point B. And currently, we don't know when in quarter one they're releasing these chips and having their prices announced tomorrow, next week, next month. But the fact of the matter is, this is the best solution. The difference between PC builders and crypto miners is that the miners are going to buy like 12 3090s at a time if they can, while a gamer would just buy one. And if every miner counts as 12 gamers, well, yeah, there's not gonna be any change in this market. They don't expect gamers to be buying 12 at a time, so they're not gonna manufacture 12 per expected gamer. And if every miner counts as 12 gamers, well, yeah, there's not gonna be any change in this market. And as long as the miners are making good money, they're probably going to want to keep reinvesting in their mining operation by buying even more cards. So it might not only be 12 that they buy, maybe it becomes 24 total by the end of the year. It's an investment for passive income. I don't blame them, but it sure is irritating for the gamers that just want one graphics card versus the miners dozens. And I really hope this works out in the end with a whole separate line of cards that are made for specifically crypto mining Gaming optimized GPUs won't really be touched by miners anymore. I mean, think about it. These cards are made with top of the line technology for ray tracing and DLSS and low latency, etc., etc. And a huge percentage of the people that have these cards are not even using them for those exact gaming technologies. So that will wrap it up for this quick video. This is a really big announcement coming from NVIDIA, and although it will take some time for it to actually cause 30 series cards prices to lower, it shows that there is a solution, and this may be the end of the clash between gamers and miners. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Have any comments or questions, drop a comment below. And if you enjoy the content that you're seeing, drop a sub. Also, be sure to enter the giveaway. You could potentially win a ton of new PC parts for your next computer build. Link is both in the description and in the pinned comment. And if you want to stay in the loop with my upcoming content, you should definitely join my Discord. The link to join is also in my description. Thanks for watching. Peace out.